everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Venya and I know it's been two months since I posted my last video but I was really busy um, with work and um, I thought I that I didn't want to stress out myself by forcing myself to create something that I wasn't really passionate about but I have so many new ideas so that I actually have to film a few videos uh, today because I feel so inspired but let's start with the first thing and it is the things I have more than one of. This will all make sense in a second, I, I, I promise you. With this video I'm not justifying me owning several items of the, sa of the same thing or that save the same purpose. This is just explaining to you that it is okay not to um, declutter every single item that you own, especially if they still serve a purpose or if they even serve <laughs> or if or if they even serve the same purpose all together. But to make things more clear, I am gonna start with, and that is water bottles. So I actually own more than one water bottle. I own several, one of them being this and one this, and I'm gonna show the rest of um, them on screen. Now you might think they are all water bottles, right? So I could easily take this one out and this one out and use it at home and um, so on and so forth, but I still have several of them. So why is that? For me, actually, each one of these water bottles serves a different purpose. For example, this is the water bottle that I use most when at home. This is a really, really big one. I got this um, a couple of years ago and this can hold two liters of water. So it is quite heavy and it's not a bottle that I want to take with me when I go away. Also, it's not really leak proof, so it doesn't really make sense. But for me at home, it comes very handy because I can carry it easily. It has got this nice grip and um, I actually fill this up once a day and I make sure I drink this every single day. Um, so just for water and I will also drink tea and coffee, but that I always drink this amount of water and this is just an easy way for me to keep track of how much I drink. So this one is, um, this one and the, the smaller one of these is one that my sister gave me. And of course it also holds water, but this is one of the bottles that I tend to fill up with like lemon water or different flavored water and put it in the fridge. I don't know, for some reason it's a really nice thing to drink like cold water out of a glass bottle. And also this is not 100% leak proof. It, um, yeah, I I had an accident once and I don't want to happen I don't want it to happen again. But this one and the smaller one they're actually perfect for keeping in the fridge. Then I've got the um the other plastic bottle and that is for um cycling. So this is the only bottle that actually fits into the holder on in on my bike. And that one is also not 100 percent leak proof. I fixed it, I glued it together again, but it still isn't, but it's again perfect for cycling. And then I've got my other two glass bottles and these are just like bottles by accident. I also use them to store things like oats and stuff in them. But um, I bought some smoothies in a glass bottle and I didn't want to throw the bottle out because it looked so cool. And now that is the one that I mostly take to work with me. Next one. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is <laughs> jackets. I swear I'm not gonna go into the whole clothes thing because I think it's all quite obvious that every one of us needs more than one pair of socks unless you want to wash your clothes every day, which I don't. But I own several <laughs> jackets of the same kind. And why is that? Um, before I started my whole minimalism journey, I really didn't think about how many jackets of the same purpose I needed. So I just bought the ones that I thought were fine. And so I ended up having, especially like spring and warm jackets, if that makes any sense. Um, I own several of, and they all say the same purpose, but I do all wear them rotatingly. <laughs> um, and, oh wow, there is a bird. <laughs> Sorry. So all, all of them I'll wear on different occasions. And if there is one that I'm not gonna wear, then of course I'm gonna get rid of it and declutter it or give it to someone else. But so far I'm still wearing every single one of these. And I think it really doesn't make any sense to get rid of any of these. 
if I still can, if I can still get use out of them. So until they break, I'm gonna wear them. And then of course, I'm not gonna replace the same one with a jacket of the same purpose that I already have. <laughs> Next one also comes into the category of like clothes. And that is shoes. And again, of course, I'm gonna have more than one pair of shoes, like for, for summer, for winter, for formal wear, of course I will. But I actually own many pairs of shoes that save exactly, that serve exactly the same purpose. And that is because when I, when people realize that I <laughs> wear shoes used or secondhand, they start giving me their shoes. <laughs> Um, so these ones are some that my mom gave me that she couldn't wear anymore because her, her feet are tiny and they're too wide for her. But I love them and I had a similar pair which broke on me, unfortunately. Oh, it says Mallorca Island on there. Walk with me. Cute. Um, I haven't actually worn these um, here since she gave them to me because they're made for summer. But I also own several different pairs. Again, I wear them on different occasions. One are for cycling, one are for like walking mostly, one are for everyday life, one are more formal. But I will own several of the same type and I'm not gonna get rid of them because A, I wear them and B, that would be waste because I also don't know any people who would want them. So I'm just gonna wear um, all of them until they break and then I'm not gonna replace them. But have one pair of shoes hopefully one day, although I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk to you about is watches. And that was one that really, really surprised me because I'm the type of person that wears one watch or no watch. So I'm not, I'm not the one that um, pays particular attention to, oh, does this watch match my outfit? Or is it the same color as my shoes? Or I don't know, stuff like that. I'm not that kind of person. I've never been, but I always wear this watch. It's my running watch and it comes in really handy. It's washable. I can, it, it, I don't know. It's just the one that I prefer really, but I realized that I own several watches. Oh, I cannot even hold them. And there is one, two, three, four, there's actually two in here, four, five, six watches. Six watches of which I wear one, maybe two if I'm being pants. And the second one that I wear is this one, the wooden one, because I think it's nice contrast to the one that I'm wearing right now, which is way more sporty. But all the other ones save exactly the same purpose, especially those two. This are both like fitness watches. This one is the one that I wore before this one, but this one is um, a little bit better and high tech. So I was thinking about selling those, but actually no one wants them. So I'm kind of um, struggling with this. And this is kind of crazy because I want to give this to people for free, but they don't want it. The next thing I own more of than is probably good for me is jewelry. Ugh, jewelry. Why is that so hard to pronounce? Jewelry, 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 jewelry. Yeah like necklaces and stuff. <laughs> so the only thing I wear for jewelry is my earrings, which I took out. So I'm not really sure whether I want them in or not. It's my, the piercing that I have. And then I'm always wearing um, this necklace. My sister's got the same, so it's kind of a sister thing. And then I've got one more necklace, which I wear on occasion um, that my, whoops, that my grandma gave me, which is like a little heart on a gold necklace. Um, yeah, and that is it. But I also own all of what is in here, which I don't really need. There, it's beautiful stuff, so don't get me wrong. I really love this, but there's like um, necklaces and bracelets and more necklaces and more necklaces, which people gave or that I bought. But um, yeah, I tend to never wear these. Still, I have them because on occasion, like every three or four years, I want something different and it doesn't really bother me in my closet. So as long as it does not get in my way and it stays within this little compartment, I am totally fine with owning several pairs of jewelry that I don't even wear that often. And then finally, you know, this is a long video. The last thing that I own more than one thing of is, uh, is containers of different 
sorts and uh, sizes and um, making. So of course I own my plastic containers and I obviously own more than one. I do not only use this to um, take food with me, but I also use this to freeze food and store it in the fridge. It comes in very handy. Um, why I, I will make another video about why I still use plastic containers instead of stainless steel ones because I am not on board with the whole stainless steel thing. Whole other video though. Um, but I also use um, glass containers, um, which are just empty uh, glass jars that I reused um, to store things in or to even um, put hot food in so I can store them for later. Yeah, I own several of these, maybe also too many of these, and from time to time I'll get rid of some, especially the glass containers, if I got too overboard with the whole, yes, I need more container thing. But um, yeah, so far I'm really happy, and I own many of them, and I don't feel guilty about it, because again, I use all of them. I could probably go with less, but it is very convenient to own several of them, and it make, just makes my life a whole lot easier. So that was it from me. I hope you enjoyed this little video and maybe you can tell me what the what are the things that you own more than one item of but they actually save the same um, purpose or in which case in which areas you are not very minimal in terms of the number of items um, of items of the same purpose that you know wow this is such a tongue twister <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one so far. I hope you have a nice day and bye.